Let's talk about greenwashing. Greenwashing is when a company makes an environmental claim about their product or their company that is either false or misleading. This could be things like a company claiming that they're eco-friendly while they cut down massive swaths of forest. And it's also been found the claim that increasing BC liquid natural gas will reduce global emissions is in fact greenwashing. Canadians deserve to know the truth. Consumers want to know the real environmental impact of the products they're using and of the companies that they're supporting. And so when a company falsely labels their product as being green, they not only hurt consumers, they also take advantage of investors. With this new transparency in the marketplace, genuine, sustainable, good practices will be rewarded while deceptive practices and greenwashing will be exposed. And these changes respond to long held demands from the Competition Bureau, as well as advocacy from groups like EcoJustice and the Canadian Association of Physicians for the Environment. And that's why at the Finance Committee, I pushed ahead some amendments to the Competition Act to tackle the practice of greenwashing. Now, when a company makes an environmental claim about their company, they're gonna have to substantiate that with evidence. And I have to say the response from the oil and gas industry has been very telling. Even before this bill became law, we saw the Canadian Energy Centre, which was the organization that Jason Kennedy set up to spew propaganda about the oil and gas sector, was actually shut down. We saw some of the largest oil sands companies put up disclaimers on their websites about their environmental claims. And we saw the Pathways Alliance, which is the consortium of the six biggest oil sands companies, actually take down their website and shut down all of their social media. So why the sudden rush to take all this information down? And what does that say about all the information that these companies have been feeding us up until this point? In any event, now that this bill has become law, we're gonna be able to have an honest conversation about the real environmental impact of companies' products and their environmental impact overall. And I think that's the absolute least that Canadians should expect going forward.